Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Back here with another PTCGO gameplay and commentary. Uh, today, I'm going to be playing some games with Zorark, Galley, Guardi. Um, so the list, <clears throat> from the original list that was played initially at um, Australia, uh, I see that I, I haven't made, my deck isn't too different from what uh, was originally played back then. I got the 4-4 Zorark line. I'm going with a 4-2-2 Guardi, Galley line. I like 2 Guardi for the Ray matchup. I like to galley for the Zorak matchups, you know, just be consistent on both fronts. Uh, three Lele, consistency. Three Blower, consistently want to be able to consistently give it a parallel city. Uh, one Max Potion offers a lot of control in a deck like this. You can Max Potion, Double Puzzle for Max Potion, Double Puzzle for Max Potion. And then we got the Twilight GX, and you can get all that back again and do it again. Uh, four Candy, trying to just consistently set up the Guardies and Galades. Three Timer Ball. Um, now, going back to the original list, when the deck was first uh, kind of played initially in a competitive scene in the competitive scene uh it was evo sodas i'm a big fan of timer ball if you're gonna play rare candy it opens up a lot more consistency in getting out the guardy galade line uh, i'm sure you can hit double tail sometimes when you need a zark but um evo sodas can't find guardy or galade <clears throat> unless you're playing a one of curlia evo soda maybe is better but i don't play the curlia just the rare candies just in time ball so i like like this line a little bit better for ultra ball uh, one parallel city. I like to be able to. This is mostly to control my own bench. Um, depending on the matchup and the situation, you know, limiting them to three can be cool too. But like, once you get Guardy set up and you want to make it hard for them to actually close out the game, uh, you can ditch stuff like your Lele's, other basic Pokemon. So I like at least one of Parallel City, three Bridget. So one Bridget, just trying to stay consistent about that. Uh, the supporter line, uh, one Cynthia. One Sycamore, three N, one Mallow. Uh, pretty standard for a draw support line in a Zorak deck in general. Uh, only two Guzma. You don't have to be super aggressive with this deck. Uh, between Guardian and Galli, you can, you're going to be KOing their active a lot, actually. Um, down here, one Choice Band. Always good to have some nice to have a card that does some kind of damage manipulation. They can't fully count your damage, I guess is what I want to say. Uh, two Float. I'm a big fan of the two Float for the mobility. Uh, four DCE. Uh, two of our main attackers take DC, and even Lele, of course, can attack with the DC, and then only three Fairy. I'm not sure if I want to go back up to four or not. I've been working with three lately, and it's been fine. Uh, basically, just because, like, Guardi, you set up the Guardi for the Ray matchup. Um, I think three is enough to kind of keep up with them, and then you, of course, like I said, like, use the Galley for the Zorak matchups, takes DC, you don't really need the Fairies. Uh, and Guardi's kind of more late game in the Zorak matchups if you ever need it at all. I think sometimes Galley can just close out the game by himself. Uh, so just three fairy because you only really need it for the um, Rayquaza matchup. Um, every, all the other matchups you can kind of just go into with Gallade. Uh, you might notice here I don't play the Mew EX. The Buzzle matchup is already so tough. Even with the Mew EX, I've decided to just against playing it completely. I'm going to try and just play no Mew EX at all. Um, as of right now, although I could see putting it back in uh, the, with the way the Buzzle lists are, a little bit more heavy, heavy Baby Buzzle. You can use Gallade early to deal with uh, Baby Buzzles. Go into Mew when you need it for bigger Buzz Wolves. Uh, you can't. You really have no good option to deal with Lycanroc like anyways. Like the matchup's just tough. Um, so I've decided against even playing a card that can help deal with it. And if I run into it, it's going to be that much harder. Um, but even adding the Mew in doesn't increase the win percentage by that much. Um, so right, that's the list. The first game. game out here. I think it's when it's actually against Rayquaza. I actually noticed the typing at the beginning. It was Colorless Dragon Psychic. So it's either Rayquaza, or I don't know. <laughs> go Sarua. Go Sarua. All right. Our hand's not great. We're going second. Uh, oh, Inca. Oh, so it's actually going to be... So it's going to be Ultra Necrozma with an Orangaroo. All right, I can deal with that. This hand isn't great. Um... As a starting hand, we just don't actually have that much going on here. This hand is just not great overall. We have the Bridget. Excuse me. We do have the Ultra Ball Lele for Bridget, but we don't have much of a follow-up. Uh, unless we want to go double Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball Lele for Bridget into Ultra Ball for Lele for something else, which I actually is probably what we're going to do. We'll grab Zerua double Ralts. Uh, unless I think it's going to knock on my active, then I might grab Zerua Zerua Ralts. Um... I guess that means we don't have a bench face open. Maybe I'll grab Zerua Ralts off the Bridget and then uh But I think he's gonna KO my active, I'll go Zerua Zerua Ralts. Ultra Ball away, float zone and top deck, and then Ultra Ball away, Guardi or DCE and top deck on the next turn. 
Um, yeah, so he's probably going to get the KO on my active. That's actually a pretty, pretty clean start from him. <clears throat> we'll see. Yep, there's the retreat, and alternate cross was ready to go. We're assuming it's going to knock us out. Oh, there's the red candy now, though. How much does that change uh, our game plan? I don't think it can change it too much. I'm trying to think of a way we could play around this, but I don't think there is a way. Ah, oh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Let's see. If we just had a raw Bridget in hand or Lele, we could definitely play around this, but now I don't think we can. I think we have to go with a... Ultra Ball, discard Float Stone, and Ultra Ball Lele for Bridget. Then we have the possibility to top deck out of it. Yeah. Oh, we have to keep the Ultra Ball. Man, this is tough. I think Guardi is better than Gallade in this matchup, probably. So we probably want to get rid of our Candy and Float Stone and keep the Guardi. Uh, might have to get rid of it anyways. Yeah. Tough, 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 tough. Kind of an unfortunate that we don't have any real follow up. Otherwise, this would have made this hand way better. Um, but if our only follow-up is late, another Lele, it's kind of rough. It's fine, though. The Bridget. And we will Bridget 4. Uh, in this situation, we're going to go Zerua, Zerua, Ralts, like I said. Um, he's going to probably KO our active. And then we'll have to Ultra Ball away Guardi plus top deck for another Lele for uh, probably Sycamore. I don't think I'm going to be using N. <clears throat> Dash ECE and we'll get a swing on next turn. Two shot the first. It's first alternate Necrozma. They come out with a way. Hmm. Excuse me again. To deal with the rest of them from there. Let's see. Second Malamar. So he's off to a pretty hot start, actually. To his discard again. Yeah, he's off to a pretty hot start. Another Cynthia. Needs a Psychic here still. If he actually whiffs the Psychic, that puts me in an awkward spot. I'm just kind of betting on him hitting the Psychic. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so like I said, I, I'm betting on him hitting the Psychic here, actually. That's why I played it out like this. Um, he did get it. He could choose to not go for the knockout, but I don't see a reason. I don't see a world where he ever doesn't go for the knockout here. Probably going to get another alternate cross off this treasure. Look to set, start setting up that. Makes sense. Oh, he's actually going for the Necrozma GX. I wonder if he's going to try and spread. I don't know. We'll see what he goes for here. It's actually interesting. People have been starting to include the uh, Necrozma GX into their... Um, Ultra Necrozma decks. I don't know how much I like that. It doesn't seem to be terrible though. I don't. I definitely don't hate it. Um, kind of just like a slower Necrozma GX though. <clears throat> There's a Malamar, and the Psychic recharges. He might actually not KO my Zerua here, which would put me in, like I said, a really awkward position if he chooses to not KO my Zerua here. That's two. Okay, going for the KO on Zerua. And he's kind of setting out to KO me with the Necrozma, the but he's actually put himself in an awkward spot because... Um, okay, there's a Zork top deck, so now we trade away Guardi. I think I'm going to still go Lele for Sycamore. I don't want to end him when he has this kind of setup where giving him more cards definitely seems pretty beneficial to him. So we're going to go for the Sycamore. We lose a Guardi, we lose a Candy, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. I look to set up another Guardi here soon. Let's take a look at what's prized. We prize a Zork. Um, prize the Ralts. Prize the Puzzle. Prize two Ultra Ball. Oh, wow, I already have three down. Never mind. Uh... Prize the fairy. I prize some other stuff that I can't quite see. A Bridget and an N. A Cynthia. So ideally looking for the candy guardy here. I don't need it this turn though. Ooh, we got some options on this hand. Hold on. Should have traded first before I evolved. Um Yeah, probably trade the Gallade here, actually, because I want the option to get an end with the Lele, I think. And then we're going to get rid of the tools. Maybe not the active. I don't really want him to float this. So maybe I'll just leave both tools in play for now. Uh, no, I could get rid of his... F no, I'll keep both in play for now. 
Oops, I have another trade. Oops. Oh, no, no, I don't. Um, my trade Galactic Honor. I want to wear Candy the Guardian. I guess while I have it now. I have the Max Potion in hand, too, so if he does spread, I can Max Potion the Guardian and then maybe Max Potion something else later on. I'm not super worried about it right now, though. Yeah, I don't really want to get rid of his choice band because I don't want him to be able to float stone this. Um, so his float stone here doesn't really do that much. Um, like if he has Kuzma, this thing, like now with this letter especially, he should be able to just knock out. Could he knock out my Guardian if he wanted to? I guess he could. Looks like he might just be punching my active though, which I'm fine with. And then he's probably going to look to set this up into a Black Ray. Um, but I might be able to actually KO this. This turn, which I definitely think I would go for. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. <clears throat> Once again, I don't play the Mew EX, but maybe I should play the Mew EX just for this matchup in general, actually, to also help me with this Necrozma GX. Because um, that thing can get annoying as well. Um, let's see. Got a trade. We got the N in hand now. I think I'm going to trade Lele. I'd rather put a Ralts on the bench if I can. There's a fairy. Definitely want to feel Lord of the Float on this turn. I think I trade away. Float Stone? Uh, yeah. Hmm. So we have Max Push on my active, and then attach DC so the Black Ray doesn't kill it. Then we can find more options for Max Push in next turn and KO this. No way to KO this, unfortunately. Um, I also want to field blower off the float. We could KO this with Lele or Guardi. But then he could do knock out, one shot my Guardi. I don't really want to lose Guardi. I think I'm gonna go with Max push my active and then swing. I'm gonna have to find some more max potions later on though. That's fine, we'll find them. Um, doesn't really matter if we get rid of that. I'm gonna hold the, this for right now in case we can find like a double puzzle play. No, I don't want a secret spring, that's right. Uh, we are in an awkward spot though because of the black ray, which I assume will be coming down. Maybe I should have held on to the candy guardy for a little bit longer because I didn't have to candy guardy there. Um, so I could have held on to the candy guardy actually, and then a candy guardy this turn, or not this turn, even held it for another turn, like in a turn or two, candy guardy. Um, didn't really have to go for it the turn I did. I could have done it uh, next turn even, potentially. Um, so there's four. So you can either KO my Guardi, um, KO my Active, or just Black Ray. I actually, if he goes for Black Ray, though, I can KO it with Guardi. He just overcommitted an energy, too. I don't think he needs five for anything. Four KOs Zorark, four KOs Guardi, I'm pretty sure. Um, so he overcommitted an energy there for sure. I don't think he needed... Yeah, he definitely just didn't need to do that. I think he's realizing that now. Um, There's a Super Rod. Gonna get the Ultra. Some other stuff. This is also... This is a matchup where that one apparel can come in clutch with limiting his bench options. Overall, I think this is a pretty tough matchup. This one's just pretty hard to... Uh, yeah, just a one-shot potential from this. I think I definitely should be playing a uh, a Mew EX to help deal with the Malamar matchup. Like, it helps me with the Puzzle matchup, helps me with the Malamar matchup. I think it helps me with enough where I should be playing it. <clears throat> so we're going to hit up with an N here and hope it sticks. We'll Ultra Ball. So he's going with the burst. Yeah, so we overcommitted one <laughs> one too many energies there. Could have had an extra energy here on the Ultra Necrozma. Um, so we're going to send up the Zork. We're going to Ultra Ball for a Ralt. Maybe we'll look for the Ralt after the end. No, we're going to Ultra Ball for the Ralt. And we're going to end him down. So Ultra Ball away, Timer Ball, and Cynthia get a Ralt out. Right now we only have the option of Gallade, but we can double puzzle for Guardi later, which should be fine. Um, actually, I want to attach to this Ralt too. I'm going to play the end. I don't really mind if he goes and chases a Ralt on his turn if that's what he wants to do. I'm fine with that. Uh, trade away Zorark. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to put him under... Um, trade away Ralt. Uh, fortunately, we're not going to be able to get him off Beast Ring, but we haven't seen the Beast Ring yet. He might not play the Beast Ring. Uh, trade away a... Um, hmm. This one's awkward now. Field Blower, Mallow, Guzma. Kind of want to keep the Mallow for a big potential play. I want to keep the Guzma for the same reason. 
Uh, I might trade the field blower here. Yeah, we're trading field blower. Okay. I'll hit him with the beating. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Perilous would have been nice there. If we ditch a Lele, but we'd get rid of one of his Malamars in play, which would be nice. Um, so we're going to look to KO this next turn. Ideally, he can't move this this turn. And then uh, we knock this out, and then do Big Guardian knock out Ultra Necrozma. Um, well, he's putting energy on Lele, so his hand might be... He might not have a metal energy. Oh, he might just be going to KO my Ralts, actually, here. Yeah, I think my Ralts is going to get knocked out here. <laughs> Uh, Guzma Kale Ralt is what I'm, uh, predicting to happen here. And we'd probably just look to end him again and hit the Lele. Um, yeah. Oh, maybe not. Maybe no Guzma. Oh, he's gonna hit us with Lele. Okay. Sit down for the Black Ray again as well. So I think I'm gonna go for Guzma knockout this. Um, uh, we'll do our trades first. Into Big Guardy knockout anything. Is gonna be the plan. Um... Think what if I went Guardian knock out this? Then it could die to the Ultra Necrozma. Should just use a Zork right now to draw a prize, I think, and save the Guardian. I should probably just double puzzy double puzzle. Double puzzy. Double puzzle for the Guardian right now. If I limit him, he'll get rid of that, so I can't limit him this turn. I could limit myself this turn and get rid of my Lele's. I wouldn't hate that. Um, kind of opens up my bench, but that's not really a huge deal right now. Uh, let's see. If I go big guardian knockout. This this is just in play to be knocked out on the following turn. So I almost like going big guardian now instead. Um, what else would we get alongside the guardy? Could get just like a max potion. So we could go guardian knockout. This he could knock us out with ultra necrozma. Then we'd have DC Guzma knockout necrozma. Guess I don't hate that. I don't think he's gonna be able to heal it. So we want Guardi. Probably Lele to make sure we can find the Guzma. Because none of this gives Guzma. Yeah, I like that. Or we could get a float stone to keep that DC in play. Mm-hmm. -hmm. So we're gonna have to lose a DCE anyways. Yeah, I don't hate that, I guess. I don't know which one of these is better. Because I could we go float stone so we keep the DC in play. Okay. So that way, all we need is a Guzma on the following turn. Let me get that Secret Spring to the Guardi. Six energy between the two of us. And then all we need is Guzma to KO that. At the end, Infinite Force. Yeah, Infinite Force. That's a knockout. Two. And if he doesn't KO Guardi, we can just use Guardi to take the rest of the prizes. Black Ray's not a huge threat here. Um, if I knew he had a way to heal this, I would have saved the Guardi and gone. Guzma knocked this out. <laughs> Zorark. Uh, but I don't think it's a way to heal the Necrozma, so I think Guardi can just go in. I've never seen a healing card in a alternate or in a any Malamar deck. Um, that's heavy Malamar. Sometimes with like the lighter Malamar decks, the lighter when I've seen them play less Malamar, they play a max potion or two sometimes. But oh, there's a Dawn Wings too. Looks like he's going to go with GX with Dawn Wings, which we know doesn't save him. That We really stuck it to him with that end to three. I don't think he... It looks like he's just not going to be able to make a comeback off of that. Uh, we have the Guzma. And even if he did have um, a way to heal this this turn, we could still just go like KO Malamar, KO Malamar. Yeah, this looks like he's going to be the GX from him, which is definitely not the ideal GX uh, for him to use here. Uh, or set up like using the G this GX in this matchup just kind of means you're losing and you're getting desperate. Whenever you use this GX attack against a Zorak deck, that means you're desperate and you're about to lose. As we see, we're gonna close out this game with the riotous beating. All right, so that was the Malamar matchup. I think the Malamar matchup was generally pretty tough, but. Uh, we stuck it. We stuck it to him with that end to three, and he wasn't really able to recover. And that's kind of what we were hoping for. We we're hoping for him to have a rough go after we end him low, and it worked out. So we take that game. Uh, right, we're back with another game. game. Dawn Champ. I actually just played against him in another recent video, bro. Come on, I just want to go first ever. 
All right, going second again. Um, really good hand if we top deck Bridget because we didn't open. Ideally, I also would like to like stop opening with Lele. Either stop opening with Lele or stop having to use double Lele. Bridget top deck is really nice here. Um, matchup's gonna be tough though. It is the Buzz Wool, so Glade's gonna be our best friend for this one. Um, if we can set him up early. Um, if he does deal with the maybe buzzwolves pretty well, doing the 130 damage, kind of pushing the knockouts pretty early on. Um, maybe he'll end me here. That would be nice. If not end, maybe it gets a top deck that Bridget. That would be nice as well. It's going to be a Cynthia from him. Got the two, the three red candy in hand. Uh, <laughs> that's not super cool. All right. Max looks at a Lele. I'm not a big fan of that on his side. You don't have to use the Max looks at just when you see him. Definitely should have saved that. I don't know if he's afraid of his buzzle getting knocked out or what, but definitely unnecessary max elixir there. Dun, 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 dun. So once again, hoping for Bridget top deck, Bridget Lele, Ultra Ball. They're all good. I just want uh, one of them. This hand is really nice. It has a turn two, candy turn two, whatever I want, really. Um, so we go double Zerua. Roltz, his board isn't currently really well set up to deal with a uh, just chasing down a Roltz on his turn, so I'd put the Roltz down. Just one Roltz down. Um, Reggie Rock, Floatstone, sure. Going after Rock Ruff. Rock Ruff now makes it uh, a lot more likely that he'd be able to go chase my one of Roltz. Maybe he'll go chase a Zerua, though. Ooh, another Max Elixir. So he's drawing pretty good off the start here. Already found two Max Elixir. Not a big fan of him attaching that energy to the Lele there with the Max Elixir, but. Come on. Oh, thank you. Opening Lele still, once again, is not good. So we prize Lele. We'll, go, we'll look at our prizes a little bit more here. What do you have? Triple or candy, timer ball, and Lele, Lele. Double and Lele, Lele. Okay. Um, so we prize... Nothing in the supporter line, I don't think. Uh, one Zork. Uh, one Gallade. One field blower. One timer ball. Man, how am I missing two? Max? No, not max potion. Two other things prized. Can't come up with them, though. That's fine. Oh, a Lele. I'm missing the last one. Two Zerua Ralts. <clears throat> Could have gone. No, I can't. I can't afford to go. Ralts, Ralts, Zerua. Then he just targets my one Zerua, and I have no draw power for the game. Definitely need some kind of draw power. There's a Lycan Rock. Cheesy. <sighs> I actually prefer it if he does go after the Zerua here, so actually I like to see that. Um, yeah, definitely like to see him chase the Zerua here. Really do not want to end him if he has a dead hand, so please play a supporter. Okay, cool. Pretty clean hand from him once again. <clears throat> It's the Rammer right out. And let's see. Another Rock Rough. Have to deal with another Gust Effect on my next turn. Hopefully I just get double heads here on this Timer Ball. Get the Zork and the Gallade rolling. Um, we'll see how he uses his... The one thing I'm curious is how he's going to use his Lycanroc on his turn eventually. If he's going to GX my Gallade or he's going to let it live because that's currently the only answer he has to Gallade um would be GX unit. There's a timer ball. There we go. The double heads. I don't need it. I really just wanted the Gallade there, but I will take it. Um so we can mallow into the DCE. Now we could check the premonition if we're gonna mallow. Or I could just play N. I think I just want to play N and draw more cards. I think I'm just gonna go with the N here. Um, it does mean we're kind of low on end, but I just want to really see some new cards. We're going to Premonition. Ideally, here we see a, a Ralts or an Ultra Ball for a Ralts. There's Ultra Ball and Zerua and Fairy Energy. We can't get all of them, though. Uh, we'll trade away the Bridget. We could Ultra Ball away these two. So we have the Candy Guardi on the following turn. Um, and then we probably want the Zerua. So we have a follow-up. Or, or can potentially set up a second Zorark. If he goes and chases our Zorark. So I think we want to go with these two. And the rest won't matter because we're they're gonna shuffle. Dun, 
then we can trade the Bridget. This Ultra Ball, get rid of these two. Grab Rolts. So we're hoping for a good top deck here if he does go after the Zorak, which he might just do. We have like two turns of top deck if he does go after the Zorak. Um, the Sensitive Blade. Once again, the double Lele really hurts putting in play. Um, maybe they'll get the Lele here. Another Gallade. Eh, not terrible to get another Gallade, but we're probably going to go with the Guardi here. Uh, especially if he GXs our Gallade. <clears throat> he could go with like a Claw Slash on our Zorak though, which would be pretty annoying. Um, I mean, if he, ha if he can get that, we'll have to see. He does have the other rock rough ready to go. There we go. Sends up Lycan Rock. So we'll see. I would be fine if he GXs our Gallade. If he claw slashes it, that would be pretty annoying. We'd have to use Lele at that point. So it looks like he's committing to the GX attack for sure with that attachment. And an N. That's what I. Even though it gets rid of the candy guardian in my hand, uh, my hand was not good. So I'm fine with that N. Another Zorak setup. He could still get the GX on my Zorak, but we have another Zorak as a follow-up now, so I'm not too as worried about that. Um, <clears throat> we'll see. Could also just... You could also just, like, kind of chill for the turn. Um, maybe get the... Yeah, I think ideally he Claw Slashes Zorak there, but yeah, the GX on those Gallade is also pretty good. So I think we send up Lele to plan to hit this with Lele. Ideally, we would hit it with Guardi, I think, but we can't for sure set up Guardi, so we start with Lele, I think, here. Let's see what we draw. Mallow's pretty good. Start with a trade and see where that takes us. Um, ideally, I set up like another Gar uh, another Gallade. And we know he's in the deck, so we're going to go like this. Huh. We can Mallow for Candy Guardy. Huh. But that doesn't get there. We can Mallow for. Candy, and then we'd be able to set up the Gallade Candy DCE. I guess I like that a little bit better, and then we can Premonition. Huh. What would we trade? Probably the Field Blower, so we can Parallel City him. Yeah, Candy DCE, I think it has to be. And then we can bench the Ralts. Candy, DCE. We kind of need to swing at him this turn. And then we trade away... What did I say? I want a Parallel City, I think, over Field Blower. We can Field Blower away the float zone so we can't do, like, a Guzma Claw Slash. But he has the other Rock Ruff in play, too. Um, it's really limiting his bench that much. Going to do anything, though? Uh, shut off Diancy, potentially. Go, like, Strong Diancy, Choice, Claw Slash, my active. Uh, man, this, oh, he has... Uh, so if I don't, if I feel blower, he still has Lele for a free retreater. So I think I should parallel city then. So candy, Gallade. Ralts should have premonition before I play. Do anything else? Uh, I think we're just putting Sycamore on top. Which means this could get a little tricky, actually, here in just a second. Uh, he probably always ditches Lele here. Maybe the Rockruff, he has like a Rock Prize, and he was just hoping to get in and didn't pull it off, those pri off, that, off that prize, so then maybe he gets rid of Rockruff. Keeps the Lele as an option for a Fruit Treater. It would have been nice to see an end there. I think we need an end coming up. I think, uh, yeah, should probably get rid of Lele here. If he has the other, like, access to the other, like, I should get rid of Lele. So as a Remorade in play as a free retreater. I don't know why this is taking him so long to decide. Should be Lele here. Okay, it's going with the Rock Ruff. So I'm fine with that. Reduces his uh, Gust Effect options, or Gust, yeah, Gust Effect options. That is what I mean to say. But look at my discard. So I still have two floats on left, so I think I'm going to push the Ralts in hopes to get Guardi set up. Could also try and just Gallade against this Lycan Rock. That would be fine as well. Um, we're currently playing around. Oh, he's just going after a ugh. <clears throat> a Zorark. I actually maybe should have put uh what are my other options to put on top? I really need to play an N here, I think. Oh, and he's getting on auxiliary. Oh my goodness. Alright. Now we're kind of kind of into it here. 
All right, so we get to play around Sledgehammer, but we don't get to play around Beast Ring. So ideally, we KO his active with Gallade. Um, yeah, so we're just going to go to KO his active with Gallade here, I think. So we'll just send up the Gallade in hopes to draw it and not waste a DC on the Lele. Um, and then he hopefully he doesn't have a immediate response of like B string to this Guzma not got another Zork. That'd be kind of a lot for him to have. I'm just gonna play around him not having that. Um, I could dig for an N here, I guess. Um, I probably should actually. So we can do. Oh, we only have access to one trade. We're just gonna take it more. We're just gonna hope he doesn't have that in his hand. Um, now we premonition. Oh, we really want to set up a Candy Guardy. Put Guardian on top, we can double puzzle for Candy. Um, then we want to make a big Guardy. Um, probably take the Floatstone after that, and then the then the Guzma, and then the and the Fairy Engine, the Zorg. Okay. So it's possible he ends us next turn, I guess. I'm not super likely. Um, I don't really want to commit the double oh i already had a flow stone in hand i shouldn't have gotten the flow stone i don't really want to commit the double puzzle yet but i probably just should we could do feral city we want the candy guardy oh i could also like what's it called this turn as well we want to make a big guardy so i think we're gonna go get the guardy stuff here we're gonna get red candy and i think another fairy energy no probably an n we need an n i think at this point yeah So I should have put that other fairy on top. I forgot I could like actually do the guardy this turn. And then um, we're going to attach here. And we're going to secret spring to the guardy. And our next top deck is... Is the fairy energy actually? No, it's the Guzma. I actually I put the Guzma on top. Uh, yeah, then we're in sensitive blade. And we're playing around sledgehammer with this. But we're not... Beast ring is active now though. So we need to deal with beast ring. Um, yeah, getting the floats... The, should have got the energy. I didn't see I had the other floats on in hand already. Should have got the energy. Um, if he's, yeah, so we have, we're hoping he doesn't have Beast Ring Guzma in hand, which uh, it's not super reasonable for him to have that. So we might be fine here. Um, we'll just have to see. Um, I'm fine if he KOs my Gallade. We have the Guardi as a follow up. There's a Buzz Wall. Gonna come down to the Beast Ring and Guzma. If he had Beast Ring and Guzma, he wouldn't need the Buzz Wall GX. So I assume he would have just gone with it on this. Put a beast ring there, attach choice man, Guzma, Zorak. So I'm assuming at this point he doesn't have it, so we're still in the game. We can just have Guardi take over from here, ideally. Um, once again, still have to see what he has, though. There's an Ultra Ball. <clears throat> see what he's, if he's running through anything, really. Not really, he still has a lot of options left. Goes with a Lycan Rock, so it looks like he's probably going to go with a Sycamore here. He's just thinning out the deck here. There's an attachment, and then I expect to see a Sycamore here. Um, let me go with an Abyssal Hand. I'm not sure why he actually got the Lycan Rock then. You don't usually want to, you don't want to get it there if you're going to Abyssal Hand for one still. Um, especially because that could have been like another, that could have been the B-String. If you drew one extra card by leaving the Lycan Rock in the deck, that could have been the B-String. So, um, we'll see. Yep, and there's the Sycamore. Discarding. Okay, strong energy. Looking for Beast Ring. Ideally for us, he doesn't find Beast Ring here at all. And then we're able to draw a prize next turn. And then he just doesn't get back access to Beast Ring for the rest of the game. Uh, but I'm not going to hold out for that happening. Let me choice Banasee down, actually. Only one and two Max Elixir. Okay. So I don't know if I want to end him. So if he actually doesn't even take, the no take a knockout here at all, I don't know if I want to end him or just actually go Sensitive Blade something. Okay, there's a Beast Ring. Hopefully not two beast rings. Hopefully we don't see two beast rings happen. One, two energy. <clears throat> he doesn't play counter catcher or anything, so that's not gonna happen. Float to Diancy. And so he's gonna go with the knuckle impact on the Gallade. I'm fine with this. Seems to draw one more pressure on that somehow. He doesn't have a beast ring for the Buzzwool, so we're gonna be able to take the knockout with the Guardi here. Um I'll send up. Um, I could float some both of these before I do anything. So we're gonna do this. Draw the Guzma, unfortunately. I should be able to just trade into the fairy energy right now. Because we do need one more energy here. Secret Spring. 
to the Gardevoir. DCE to the Gardevoir. Floatstone active. Floatstone Lele. Field blower. Uh, a floatstone and this because the the Lele is basically a free retreater, so I don't like getting rid of his free retreat doesn't really do anything. Uh, would have been nice to have the fairy in the hand and then tr a trade after this, but whatever. So what we're at right now. Retreat and swing with infinite force for the knockout. Just need one more prize. I for him to get the win here, he needs like attached to the baby buzz wool. That's a lot of Pokemon. Alright, so we got the Lele for the Guzma though. So we should be able to close out this game next turn for sure. Um so for him to win here, he needs to get like oh he can't even be swing. He's got like attached max elixir, Guzma, knockout, Zorark. Two max elixirs left. There's a choice fan. Doesn't even need to get like a heads now. Uh, still has three Guzma. He actually doesn't have terrible odds here of hitting that combo. Um, that's what we're hoping he doesn't hit. That's what he's hoping to find. Um, I can see where our weakness policy actually could be decent in this deck. One, two, three, four. Could even weakness policy the Gallade, so Mew EXs can't one-shot Gallade, which would actually be pretty nice. Um, so I kind of almost like the idea of a weakness policy in this deck, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's the attach. That's the Guzma. But that means there's no Max Elixir. That'll be Sledgehammer. Okay, for a second I thought, I was like, wait, is he going to knock me out? And then we just retreat and close this one out with Gardevoir and Infinite Force. All right. Taking out a Buzzwool there. Not too hard. Uh, so yeah, the match is definitely a little bit tougher without the Mew as an early option. But the Gallade is super good against them right now with the way Buzzwool decks are built. The heavy uh, baby Buzzwool. Uh, it doesn't really match well into Gallade. Gallade being able to knock out like two baby Buzzwools in a row. Uh, super nice. And uh, you can see there the Gallade was pretty effective early on. Uh, didn't quite do what I exactly said it would. But uh, getting the Gallade out, you know, the single prize attacker... Uh, super useful early on. Use it into the... Use actually two of them, right? We used one into the first baby buzzle and then one into the, the Lycan Rocks. So yeah, Kelly is super effective in that matchup overall. And we take that one pretty cleanly. Uh, about as cleanly as you can expect without the MUEX. Like, the overall, how the game overall played out. It's pretty much... If we're going to ever win, that's how it's going to probably play out most of the time. Um, so yeah, not too disappointed in that. Back with another game with the Guardi. With Zor Zoro GG, as I've been calling it. Guardi Gallade. Once again, going second and not a great start. So we want to protect the Zeru when we have starts like this because if our top deck is a Zork, we want to make sure we can trade. Um, so Bridget top deck. Okay, a Mulligan. Maybe a couple here. That would be very nice to see a couple Mulligans here. Looks like a Malamar deck. Um, could definitely use a couple Mulligans here with the hand being like this. <clears throat> Selecting their starting Pokemon. Yes. Well, there's a Guardi, so top deck Bridget becomes that much better. Ultra Ball, we could get rid of Float and Field Blower. And then Puzzles to look at the top three to reset. Um, yeah, Rob Bridget is the ideal top deck, I guess. Leaving the most outs in the deck for us to find with the puzzle to look at the top three. Cynthia... Attach, sure, sure, sure. I guess top deck Lele is really good now too. If the Inke stays active, we can get that free K on the on the Inke. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. So so far it looks like a straight Psychic Malamar deck, um, but we haven't seen everything yet. All right, come on. Ugh. Well, it's possible they whiff the knockout, um, but uh, do I really want to rely on that. Yeah, not really with two Psychics in the discard pile. It's not even hard for just the Lele to get the knockout then. Um, let's take a look at the top three, I guess. See what our options are. Could put Ultra Ball on top so we can get Ultra Ball for Lele for Bridget. I think I'm just going to go with that and then hope I top deck on the turn after. Um... Yeah, or if Gally, or if I can rare candy out Gally, Gally could take a knockout. Um, and then we get the Bridget for the the Pokemon. We'll see. So ideally, ideally, Ralt sticks around for a turn. 
Um, they don't have an attacker with energy yet, so they're not super set up. Well, there goes Lele getting energy. <laughs> that was the scary, that was what I was saying. I think <laughs> it's very possible Lele takes the knockout here. Um, and the float on the active. So now it's not looking good for our buddy Ralts here. Could still see whiff all the Malamars. Um, nope. Spoke too soon. So we're probably going to go Ultra Ball. Now we're going to go, uh, What are we going to do? Ultra Ball for Lele for Cynthia. And then... He's putting down the Tina promo. I don't really mind that. It's not very good in this matchup. Yeah, Ultra Ball <clears throat> for Lele for Cynthia. Ultra Ball for Zorak and Trade isn't very good. Uh, we could go with the Bridget play, but that's pretty poor, too. I think we go Ultra Ball, Lele, Cynthia. Check what we prized here. One Zerua. One Ralts. One Field Blower. One Puzzle. One Timer Ball. Ooh. Floatstone. All right. So we're going to get the Cynthia. Hopefully, just find a way to evolve this arc and then hit it. Yeah, so we are going to commit to DC immediately. It always feels a little scary, but we have a lot of outs to finding Zorks. Almost whiffed, uh, but it's not a pretty discard. Um. Yeah, it has to be Puzzle Guardy. I think we really want to bench the Ralts. And then we trade away DCE. I think we probably just actually don't trade here. I think we need to keep the DCE. Mm. Not pretty. Has to be Puzzle though, right? Yeah. Not pretty at all. All right. Now do I trade the DCE is the question. Currently leaning towards no, but I actually don't hate the idea of trading away the DC. This is 60, so if we can find three bench Pokemon next turn, we can just get the knockout. I think we're just going to go with the Rhinus. Oh, man. Ah. Uh, it's close. Let's trade the DC. Let's do it. Why not? Ideally, find a basic Pokemon. Nope. Candy, but no Guardy. <clears throat> I just got rid of the Guardy. So I guess I should have traded first. Trade the DC first, and then... Oh, what I ultra ball, I ultra ball for this arc, so I couldn't do that. So we're still in a tough spot, but they're not their board state isn't great. Uh, so we're gonna see the chase on the Ralts. Um, that's unfortunate. Now I'm gonna trade and try and find a Bridget, um, so I can get this knockout <clears throat> ideally into an ultra ball or a Lele, and then that gets the Bridget. So we'll see our draw trade fairy energy. I think at this point is the best way to go. No luck. Choice band might be enough. Field blower the float. Um, and then N. And now we need two basic Pokemon. And we got zero. But we found the Bridget finally. <laughs> this game has been a disaster for us. Um, fortunately, still not out of it. And actually, if I had the DC, I could have gotten the KO with Lele choice band. Um, so we have Bridget next turn, followed up by N on the following turn. Once again, they're still not that set up that well. Um... So we're not out of it yet, just not looking great. And they're setting up the Tina promo, which I am more than fine with. Um, they have limited options on their attackers. Um, and actually, by this Lele not dying yet, they don't really have any energy in the discard pile to charge up in a, uh, a better attacker with. So they're kind of stuck a little bit too. This giving this is giving us time. Uh, Field blow my choice ban. That's fine. Still got the knockout currently. We well, might see them retreat the Lele and attack with the... I don't have any good attacking options. I don't even think they could attack with the Tina. Um, there's an N. Ugh, just when I found my Bridgets. Unfortunate. All right. Hopefully we can find another Bridget on this side. There we go. Yeah, this hand's even better. I'll take it. So we can go double... Um, well, we'll see what our top deck is. But we could go with the double... Um, Double Ralts. Oh, we don't have two Ralts as options, actually, I don't think, anymore. So we still have to just go one Ralts. Now their bench is completely locked up on Pokemon that are just actually not that good. None of them have are really good attackers into Zork. So this is this is good for us now. 
the energy drive for 100. This guy actually won't even clean up because we have the resistance. Um, we could max potion it, but I think we're just going to play around them not getting the knockout. Um, I think we're going to start with Bridget either way. So rule is a rule of roll. Still have two candy. We're going to trade away our candy here. Trade our candy. How many ETCE do I have left? Not many. Um, so I really don't want to attach this DCE or max potion, then attach the DCE. Might be the best way to go, though. Make it really hard for them to get a knockout on their turn. But even in a Krosma, GX could actually KO this not too unreasonably. So yeah, we're just actually going to go with the knockout here and chill. Two prizes. Sarua is okay. I ideally wanted to see a Ralts there, but we should be able to set up a ton of stuff this turn, this next turn. Uh, it does have resistance to fighting, so I kind of wanted to hit, knock this out with the Galate, but I won't have that option, actually. We well, should see them finally set up a reasonable attacker for this matchup. I don't know what they're going to go with here. We'll see what their options are. It's probably going to be an Akrozma, uh GX, and then we'll have to just go ahead and punch that with a Galate, I think. Yeah, it would have been very nice with to see a Ralts out of here. Definitely would have liked to have seen a Ralt. So yeah, like if he, they have energy attachment plus triple psychic recharge, I'm not stopping them from <clears throat> being able to even get off the prismatic burst one shot anyways. Um, especially when they don't have another attacker to really put energy on. Um, I can't really like even stop them from being able to use their energy efficiently. So uh, yeah, so I think this is this is fine how this ended up being played out. Um, yeah, definitely would have liked to have seen another Ralts there over the Zerua out of the prizes, but something's better than nothing. Um, so I think we go for the Glade, not, Glade punch into this. I think so. Could punch it with... Hmm, what else could we punch it with? I think we just punch it with Glade, though. I don't think there's anything better to punch it with. Glade. Glad. Yeah, I think it has to just be Glade. Glade, Lele, Zork. This thing KOs Glade, though, so now I kind of want to punch it with a Zork. I think I'm going to punch it with a Zork here, actually. Change of plans, because this thing actually just KOs my Glade, which is not really cool. Yeah, I'm going to punch this with a Zork this turn. N to 2. With the Orangaroo, it's going to be hard for the N to stick, but we're just going to have to hope for the best. Um, start using some timer balls. Need some heads here. Oh, man. Not like this. Please give me a double heads on this one then. All right. Get a Glade and a Zork. Maybe we want to go just for a big Guardi, actually, instead. Um, don't even worry about going to the odd prizes. Um, make it make it something harder for them. It's not really that much harder for them to chaos. Yeah, I guess I'd rather have the draw power through the, through the Glade. Like this. Uh, rare Candy. Only one option, come on. Zork. DCE, and then the N. On the other side, we're gonna look for... Let's see what Premonition can offer us. Access to one trade. Wow, no good options here. Nothing great here. Max Potion is good though. And I think N is the next best draw. If Mal, if we ever really want anything, then we could top deck budget for the next trade. Yeah, we'll trade away the Lele. Um, if we could get out of Guardi, I want to kind of keep the candy. But we have another candy in deck, or two candies in deck. We have one more candy in deck. Um, I'll actually trade the candy here. All right, and just punch it. Or 100. Mm -hmm. So super slow game on my side, and I haven't really been able to get anything really great going uh, even after that. Uh, it's still been rough. There's a Guzma. Oh, and that's going to be game. So we are going to lose this one as they take out our Lele with Prismatic Burst. We were able to keep it kind of close. If they had been able to, if, they got, if this had got stuck for a turn, we were able to take that out, uh, maybe end them again. Uh, we might have been able to pull it out from there. Um, just kind of just rough draw in the beginning. Um, but still managed to get, get kind of close. Like all I needed was one turn for this to get stuck. And then from there, it's pretty close. Um, doesn't happen though. And we're going to lose this one. 
uh, but can't win them all. All right, guys, that's going to do it for Zorark Guardi Gallade as we take a defeat in the end of this one. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a like. If you enjoy the content, subscribe. Um, as always, I'm always open to some constructive criticism in the comments section below. Uh, links in the description for my Twitch stream, my Twitter, Facebook, whatever. If you guys want to check that stuff out, feel free in the description section below. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and peace.